Stephen, along those same lines, uh, you know that <clears throat> in February of 2021, we're having the first annual African American Golf Expo and Forum. You, uh, uh, AJGA, you all signed on as one of our first sponsors, and I thank you so much uh, for that. Absolutely. Uh, this will be an opportunity to uh, for you and uh, to showcase the AJGA to the audience and for the audience, obviously, to learn about the opportunities there. Uh, what would be your words to other golf leaders and organizations about getting behind uh, this, the uh, first African American uh, golf expo and forum? I, I just think it's an opportunity uh, uh, that uh, shouldn't be missed. Uh, there's the, you know, uh, I think it presents so many different opportunities for us to uh, get to know the minority golf community. I had no clue that there were so many minority golf organizations and communities mm -hmm. within the Atlanta area alone. I, I had no idea before. Yeah. But once we stepped into, the, you know, that world of diversity and inclusion, and I said, oh, Patrina King, oh, LaJean Gould, oh, you know, Tiffany Fitzgerald. And uh it's been great i mean they're we've we've created some really good relationships um i keep looking at lejean gould as my grandmother i can't help it <laughs> and don't ever say that to her but she's the sweetest lady um she is she, she is that i'll tell you a funny story i i took a sponsorship position with her event uh women in golf foundation event which is a great event yes and it took a it was a, like a silver sponsor or something like that and the next year i, I was going to repeat the silver sponsorship but i i realized that she jacked that sponsorship up fifteen hundred dollars and i call her up i go well Jean, are you costing me more to become a silver sponsor this year she says yeah i think i am <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thank okay, you. Okay, you got me. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> Thanks for your support. We appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, I just think I yeah. think it's a great opportunity. Yeah. Um, uh, and even if you you don't have a diversity uh, statement or diversity program, I think coming to an event like that, just like our diversity task force meetings, have just opened up some doors, created some relationships. Um, help me have a better understanding of things and where where people and organizations are. So I think it's very important. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Yep.